Man, power cats? You raise me up. One owner, 55,000 miles. You go, That's Papa. Great. Beat that out with a hammer. Shotgun behind the seat. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Male sterilization. <laughs> Oh, jewel right here. Hog came in it. Don't back talk me. Compact edition. Carpet caught on fire. Oh my gosh. Crusty. Ratchet. Oh my gosh. Ow. I knew my girl. Trash. Ooh. For a sketch cat. That's not good. <laughs> Jesus. That's so. Maybe the Lord bless us. That's what was in there. Start popping or something. Ooh. No way. Buy them at the Piggly Wiggly. I'm gonna cut this exhaust. Let mama Ooh. kick it. Now gas yeah. it. Surely. Doppelganger. Lipstick on a pig. Bunch of misfits. What the cuss? Whoa! Rise up. Wave a flame. <laughs> His name is Dude Man. 24 volts. 24 volts. 24 volts. It tingled my leg when I plugged it in. Pegged on 18. <laughs> Not ideal condition for mud. Hello, are you in there? That's unfortunate. JV Wolves. Are we gonna get stuck? Runner and four low. Dice it. You wanna watch your mouth? Say what? Say what? See in your shorts. Yeah. Good morning. It's early. We bought another truck, and it's supposed to be on its way here on a trailer. Now, usually we go pick them up ourselves, but a buddy of mine had this thing for sale, and I said, "Hey, you bring it to me. I'll buy it." So, we still got our hair messed up because it's early in the morning. We're gonna unload this thing with him and see what we bought. We know it's supposed to be a 76 K10 one owner truck, but it sat outside a very long time. So it's been sitting outside longer than I've been alive. Let's see what it looks like. Are you excited, Ralph? Yes. Ralph, you spotted it. It's on its way. <laughs> Are you in love with it yet? Is that co-op grip spurs? Look at them. Oh, power cats. Man, power cats? You didn't tell me about that. I'd have paid extra for the power cats. Hey, gun rack in the back window. Yeah. <laughs> hey, he's got knee deep in treads. Yeah. This thing's gonna be fun if we can get it going, huh? Yeah. You so. raise me up. <laughs> so I get Wagon going. wheels, huh? Yeah. Oh, I don't <laughs> Yeah. Well, at least we don't have to work on getting that drum free now. Thank you. <laughs> that was a little bit of a ride there. Yeah. Back up, yeah. You want me to get the tractor? There's like a Pepsi bottle cap over the radio knob. Huh. This thing's pretty cool. Yeah. Maybe we can get her going, huh? Maybe. Look, get some slime in that, right? Yeah. I like the two-tone paint, it's pretty cool. Either we slime it or um, put a tube in it. Yeah. I wonder what it would be like cleaned up. We'll see. So it's almost noon now, mom's woke up. Come out noon. here and look at this. The still crawling. <laughs> so check this out. One owner, and it was parked in 1984, so it was only on the road for eight years. 
awesome casing. Yeah, and he told me that the people he got it from said that it basically never left the farm there. It was just always parked the whole time. This guy can remember it was parked on their farm. Wow. Look at this. Power cat casings. Where are you going to find that? <laughs> You're not. You're not going to find that. See how many miles is on it? Of course, it's a Chevrolet. Well, GMC. Say fifty-five thousand. Yeah, fifty-five thousand mm -hmm. miles. Wow. Out, Man, somebody just put this thing around too much mud and salt or something, huh? Yeah. Hopefully, we have a solid fifty-five thousand mile drive line. Oh, wow! It came with vice grips. Came with some vice grips. Look at that. Oh, they've been they've been broken, <laughs> welded back before. <laughs> you go, Pat Ball. What do you think, Squeeze? See, no, no, like, no, not for you. Like, yeah, it's got the nice single headlight front end with the cool know, fenders. Right. But it's kind of crazy that it's in such bad shape considering. My it, God, when they did use it, they used it all right. I wonder if they got it around a lot of like salt and stuff. I don't know. What else? Been on a farm if it's around a lot of cow poop and stuff. Oh yeah, plopping the cow poop in the field. But yeah, brakes came loose with me hanging out the door. Coming down the trailer. Yeah. We could beat that out with a hammer. Well, this is going to be our mud dogger if we get it running. We might take this thing to Winrock. We should. Definitely should. Put 35s on it. How many times has that boy said put 35s on it? I don't know. I just, I just tune him out. I'm so tired of Godzilla 35s, this, K10, K30, K6500, 8500, lifted. Let's look in the cab see what we can find. Hey, it has half of a gun rack. I guess that's a handgun rack. Well, that mirror's probably still good. Yeah, it's good. Oh, wait, shotgun shells, man. That, that may be volatile. Yeah. We've never bought one with shotgun shells. We should see if they shoot. No, we shouldn't. Yes, That's the are. worst idea you've had. Well, we don't need to smack them on the ground or nothing. That's for sure. Look, brand new belts. No way, look at this. Mountain Dew and Pepsi Cola and Pepsi. And when do they go from Pepsi Cola to Pepsi? I don't know. Rubber floor mat model. Owner's manual in here. Jeez, look how good the... Door panel things are. Oh, it's incredible, outside. huh? Here's some 22 shells. Where? Right here, look. Got some yeah. 22s in there. No, you don't need no 40 year old 22 shells. They were trying to touch it up. They got Duplicolor Auto Spray Touch Up. It's probably full cam. Ermine okay. White. No, they've used it. They used it, yeah. That's why this truck looks so good. And I hope there's a shotgun behind the seat or something. That'd be cool. We got a, where's the latch? I never know. Oh, I see it's a spark here? plug. Well, it's got seat belts. There just better not be any SNAKEs in here. Pepsi! They love their Woo! Pepsi. Soil samples. Pepsi. Yeah, they've been out in the field, haven't they? Your gun rack's right here. Oh, we got the other half of the gun rack, Ralphie. Yeah. More touch up paint. Is it empty? Hey, what's the can? Well, look at that. How many new belts do they carry around with them? Look is that. that for this truck or is that for like a tractor or That's something? That's what I was just thinking, yeah. It might have been for the farm equipment. Look, voltage regulator. What is this? What's that can? Which can? This? Yeah. Oh Lord! Salad dressing. Oh Lord! <laughs> is that mayonnaise? Uh, look, That's look. like Miracle Whip. It won't even it? move when you turn it upside down. That's like Miracle Whip. <laughs> what is this? Male sterilization procedure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. Lord! I'm gonna read that. We'll talk about it later, son. I don't it's know why, but I love digging through people's junk like this. Well, that's why you dig through people's stuff and they don't even ask you to. <laughs> <sighs> what does Wawa think? I like it. It's a lot, though. It's a lot. So it's look, really, it's full time four wheel drive. Really? It has low lock, low high high lock, so it's all the time in full drive. It ain't even got. It does have a key. Hey. Yeah, it's got a key. It works. Somebody left the key on batteries, probably dead. So maybe. this gonna be my field truck? This, this may be my your field, field truck. truck. Oh. Well, you know they make like every part for these things now. You could probably buy a whole new body for it. What? Just use the frame. Get out of town. If you want to go real serious, but. Oh, we could just take the bed off. Um, we need to oil some stuff up and let it sit for a while. Is what we yeah. need to do. It's a jewel. It's a jewel. Scooty is on it. What, is there a rat, Scooty? Get it, Scooty, get it. Is there a rat in there? Get it. Get it. You can't reach the truck. I think it's even got the breather. Easy. It's got oh the fold model on the hood. Easy. That's good. Okay. Oh well. Is it a two barrel or four barrel? I wonder. Power brakes. It was made October 1975 and it's a 350. Let's see what's under here. 
Four barrel. Get her done, son. Oh, she's stuck. Look at that. Nobody's trying to get this one running. There are many vacuum ones. Look at that. Ooh. Mmm. Gross. Oh my gosh, look at the carburetor. Wow, is it stuck? Nope. Oh, jewel right here. Not even stuck. She's a jewel. For sure. It's All got right. one of those fancy distributor things. H-E-I? Yeah. It has the coal built in, yeah. That's good. No points to deal with. You're doing a great job, <laughs> Alba. Oh, yeah, get the carburetor and the spark plugs real good, guys. Dump the carburetor down. You know what the carburetor is? Yeah. Ow! Now, what size shot is this? Uh, a big one. This is a 150 or 200 shot you go up to? 200. So this is no AC. Does it have power steering pump? Oh, it has a power steering pump. If you have a problem in your life, Even your heavy depression. blaster will fix it. Just spray your head, you'll be undepressed. <laughs> You could drive it in the snow. Where you go, Mom? Drive this store. Oh, we get it running. I'll drive her. You love it? No. What? You don't like nothing about she the does, new truck? She just likes new. Are you a cat today? Trucks. I think it could be fun. Yeah, go four wheeling? Yeah, I just want to drive it first, though. Of course. Of course. Get some donuts in out. the field. Yeah. The rest is on your Since it's got a hog <laughs> leg in her. Woo! We need to put a hog leg cam in it. Oh, gosh. Oh, it's not even running. We don't even know if the engine's stuck yet. So we're gonna give this a few days to sit like that. We're gonna pull the plugs out of it, put some oil down the cylinders, let it sit, and uh, we'll come back to this. You just made me sad when you said stuck. Well, a lot of them been stuck lately. Yeah. Vying to get out of her pen and just hangs out the door now, waiting for us to come in, put her nose on the glass. You're supposed to be in your pen. What? Don't back talk me, you're supposed to be in your pen. Pigs don't live in the house. Oh my gosh, she's getting her nose all over the glass. All right, it's been a couple days. We're back here. We're going to try to get this hood open, get the plugs out of it, get some oil down the cylinders. That's leaving. Ow. You go to the other side. Man. Okay. Wow. Here we go. What could go wrong? Well, it looks mm -hmm. like uh, these are really easy to get to, at least. And I got like a super long extension on mine. I wonder why this engine is red. It's not red, it's Chevy well, orange. That's their color. It's red ish. Where the heck is it? Oh. What the heck? Ow. Do we need to keep these in order? Yes. Just do one at a time. Ooh. Wow. Looks like she's going to need some plugs, huh? That's tightening I, it. Okay. Down is loosening. Did we check the oil yet? We didn't do it. No. I'm keeping these in order ish. Ish. We need a little bit better than ish. Man, I'm not used to working oh. on these big trucks. I need I a like bucket it. or something to reach these. Well, I don't. At least there's plenty of room to work on it, though. Look, you look funny. Compact edition. Oh. Very crusty. <laughs> do you think it's going to be stuck, the engine? No. Ooh, golly, look at this one too. Honestly, I don't think it will be. You don't think it's going to be stuck at all? The belts are terrible. Well, the belts look stuck to the I mean, fan. As long as this thing's in park, it would surprise me if it's not stuck. It'd be fun to go four wheeling though, huh? Yeah. Have you ever been four wheeling and not got stuck? Mm. Well, when we went to Windrock in the tractor, we drove it back home. Now, just because the carpet caught on fire on the way home, it doesn't mean Wait, I didn't get serious? stuck. Yeah. The carpet caught Yeah, you were in there. You were a baby. Yeah. You know, you just take your three kids and go to <laughs> off-road park, drive it back home, catch the carpet on fire. But all these plugs look really rough. Ralphie, I've already got my side done. I'm on my second. We're going to put some marble mystery oil inside the cylinders just to try to lubricate this thing up some. It just does magic, doesn't it? Yes. Hey, Dad. Yes. Look. <laughs> you can fit under the hood, can you? I can't get this back on the plug wire off. You got your foot stuck in there? What? Maybe you should put your foot towards the firewall more. That's what I'm trying to do, but come on. I think there's more. You must have got in there that way and then turned it. Like, turn your foot to the left. Okay, maybe pull it out of the boot. You think that'll work? 
and then get the boot later. <gasps> you may have to live under here. Pull my leg. I'm weak. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> yeah, do that. My foot's under so much pressure. Here. There you go. Oh my gosh. I can't believe you got stuck in there. Look, I still can't get your boot out. What a twerp. <laughs> Ooh, we're like needing two quarts in that thing. Let's see if it turns over before we put any one. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> I got burnt lately on vehicles that didn't turn over, so we better wait on that. Oh my gosh, look at that. Crusty. We're gonna have to look down at cylinder and see what's That's up. That's the worst one, isn't it? Yeah. Ratchet. Oh, Granny, what you doing? You get you a little snack over here. Looking beautiful. We had lost this thing for a while, so this is our test long endoscope. Isn't that what they call it? Mm -hmm. Let's see what inside the cylinder looks like. Oh, we're this going one. in. Ooh. Look at that. There so. isn't much ridging. But oh, this was the wait, one with like the, the worst way. plug. See what this is over there. How do I turn it? What? Oh, hold on. That's what I meant. That's right. Look at that junk. What is that? This just flips the screen, doesn't it? Yeah. What is that? I don't know what that is. It's it's so close to the cylinder wall, I can't really see it. Oh my gosh. We're gonna have to start doing this more often. Look at this. Oh wow. Oh my gosh. Look inside that cylinder. Wow, why is it so rusted up? Uh, we may have some trouble with this one. It's not a hole, is it? That black spot? No. Is it just a shadow? Sh well, that one looks good. That one looks shiny. Nice, nice. Well, it's got some rust on the walls, doesn't it? And look at the piston. Now you can see where we put the marble in it though. You can see the oil. Same thing here. Kind of rusty. You can't really see. Look at the marble down there. Ooh, what's that? Marbles. I can't really tell what that is, but that piston's at the top. Yeah. It's got some junk in there for sure. Let's see what this last one looks like. It looks like it's at the top too. Full of marble. Okay, well let's put one on the other side and then see what it does. No kitty kitty. It's a cat? Yeah. Oh. Another one? Yeah. It's hungry. It's okay, you hungry? You want some vainas? We'll feed you some vainas. Guess someone dumped it out. We're gonna put some down the carb too. This thing needs all the help it can get probably. We're gonna give it a second shot here at PB on this carburetor. Just to try to loosen everything up before you tear into it. We gotta give this some time to loosen up now. And we'll come back and try to break this engine loose. That's one of them thick dipsticks, yeah. Okay, we got transmission <laughs> fluid. That's good. <laughs> What's wrong with him? You're crazy. Oh, God. It was full. Really? Yeah. No way. Another one that had fluid in it? The, I don't think the back does. Put some it in has it. has a little bit in it. The lid was stuck? And then I hit it up with that, then I pulled it really hard. Oh, you can feel it. Yeah. Do you want to hit the brakes and see if it has brake pedal? It's either going to be really hard or you going very barefoot? easy. Yeah. Jammed up. Give it the stomp. All right, let me see it. <clears throat> Well, it moved and it has, it's like hitting something solid right there, but it don't feel right. It just feels like it's moving this far and then hitting a brick wall. I don't really think we have any brakes. So we gave it less time than we should have, and we got a 5.8 socket on here now. Look at that. I knew it. Well, it moved a little bit. Hey, what's coming out the bottom? That's probably fluid in one of those cylinders. Look at that. I knew my girl. Oh, 
Oh man, I wouldn't have guessed that. I wouldn't have thought it'd come loose that easy. Why does it only have two things for Look, the Look at all the fluids dumping out. Out of the cylinders. No way. Okay. You're gonna go all the way around. It's kind of trying to stop right there. It might be because that trash in that one cylinder. You're the, you got it this time. No, it's not turning. It's tight in the bolt, not turning the engine. I yeah. bet you it's because that trash. Trash. There you go. We got past that. Look, see the fluid coming out? He keeps hitting hard spots and stopping. Oh, man, this is a uh, good news right here. I did not expect this. Well, that's good. Well, now it's good. now it's starting to bolt again. You want to put a battery on it? Uh, let me try some more right here for you. It's not turning anymore. Ooh. Let's all get along and be friends. What is this? New cat and Penelope. Oh no. <laughs> it's okay. Be nice. Please don't bite. Okay. So maybe I should go back the other way some. It's not really wanting to go all the way around this way. It's going free that direction. It's hitting a hard spot there. See, that's not turning the engine. Yeah, it's not turning anymore. But it'll go back this way. It won't go that way. Maybe we should let the starter deal with this. We don't have much of a battery box left. We're so probably just gonna have to put it right here. Some reason they have side posts on here. I didn't. I thought these trucks had top posts. Look what they did. Somebody tried something here. Oh, <laughs> nice. That's some big cables, huh? What is this? I hope this doesn't mean that somebody recently tried to start this. I just want to know if the carburetor will work without having to do anything. Mm. I'm gonna say no on that one. Mm. Hey, we had the quadrajet that was on uh, Malibu. That cat's actually nice for a sketch cat. No. Sketch cat? You mean like stray? All right, let's see what happens here. Ooh. No big sparks. That's good. I'm going to go in there and turn it over with the key, and we'll see what happens. No one get in front of it. Ooh. It hit a hard spot and stopped, didn't it? I don't want to bend the rod or something. I think it hit a hard spot and just stopped it. Right in its tracks. That's not good. Probably that cylinder back there that we saw the junk in, if I had to guess. At least it's turning. I don't want to hit it with a starter bunch because sometimes you can bend a rod doing that. Hopefully we didn't do that now. Right there, it doesn't want to go any more clockwise. So if I go the other way, it's free. Look, it hits again right there. Free as a bird here. And then it just hits. I don't like that. It's just tighten the bolt. Man, don't do this to me. Hey, <laughs> <Hey>. Quit. <laughs> I'm trying to work. Woo. I don't think this is going to turn over, guys. I'm sure the wind blows, it blows rust in my face. I've been trying to turn it, and it's just going to snap that bolt off if I go any farther. I think I'm going to hit it with a starter one more time, see what it does. That's not good. We've done it again, haven't we? Yep. We bought another one that <laughs> is just gonna fight us. Hey, look at that thing! A Thunderbird. What? What is that? You hear that? What is that? I don't know. What are you crying? I'm just rocking the engine back for Yeah, I hope it's not Uncle Rodney. I'm gonna try to push on the teeth of the flex plate here. See if I can get it to turn. Because this is the counterclockwise direction from the front. And uh, it just keeps loosening the bolt that way. That's going a little bit farther there. Okay, maybe we're getting somewhere. What are you doing? I got it on. I'm just giving her some taps. Ralphie, half inch drive ratchet with the socket. Is it on the crank still? I don't know. It's just slipping now. It barely moved a little farther and then now it's just like locked up solid right here. We're gonna pull a valve cover since we can't get this thing to turn over. See if we can find out anything from that. Let's see what mysteries await us under here. Looks very dry for one thing, but it's not covered in scaly rust like the last one we took the valve cover off of, right? Oh my gosh, look how loose that is. 
Man, the lifters are definitely collapsed. I Man, I was hoping when it started to turn over easy, it would just keep going, but I don't think we've had one that turned over that easy initially and then just stopped. You want me to kick it? You may have to give it a kick there. You're gonna hurt your little toes is what you're gonna do. Make sure off. How's that that easy with a pry bar and that hard by hand? It's like more of the same, it's not rusted up, it's just really dry. Look at that one. Tell me if the valves and stuff are moving. They're moving a little bit. So we know that our timing chain's not broke. Clearly the cam's rotating and doing its thing. I was wondering about that cylinder that looks so bad on the camera, if one of the valves is coming down and contacting it. I thought maybe we can loosen those rockers up, but that's not what's happening because uh, when it stops, these valves are closed. So that's not the deal there. We probably just have either so much junk in that cylinder that it's coming up and contacting the cylinder head and stopping the piston, or we've got a bent rod or a broke rod or something from somebody else. Well, at least it's not rusted up under there, you know? Yeah. That's good. Than I, thought it, I was afraid it's going to look like that. Um, okay, well, we could take the water pump off and put a big bar on it, take the hood off, and then we're probably going to break something. Why don't we just dig down in there and see what's wrong? Because this is different than any, any of the other two we've had lately. Because the Galaxy wagon and the Fairmont wagon just wouldn't break loose at all. This one's turning. It's going around hitting something completely solid. So I think if we pulled the heads off, that would tell us a lot. Because if you had a bent or broke rod, you could tell that with the heads off. I think we need to just pull this top end apart. Let's do it. Again, we're what? tearing down another engine. Either Yay. Way, get, we're taking the hood off. Okay. Well, that's good. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Jesus Lord. I done oh, thought I was killed. You got this, Mom. Hey, boy, you've been so you like go this way? Yeah, 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 yeah. You got this. You got Don't this, get Mom. Hey, let's go. Woo! She has the muscles. Take the pry bar down. Oh, okay. I think it's loose. Oh, huh. Lord. It's a beast, isn't it? Yeah. Lord. Huh. It's huge. Ooh, all it that's our new sled thing. Everything now. Let's see down through it. There's not a bunch of rust or anything down the intake. That's a good sign. A bunch of dirt on this Dad, intake here. Dad, you're, you're putting it all over me. Dad, No, Dad. I'm just cleaning this off. No, no, Dad, so seriously. Is he the most aggravating person you know? <laughs> Just that, putting the no, junk no. off the top of the Why? engine. Why? You didn't do it the other side. Oh, wow. I'm the big distributor. How many engines have we tore down lately? I'm trying to get the hang of this. <laughs> it's like, this is engine like number five or something we've done just recently. Ralphie, I need a 9 16 short 3 8 drive socket, 6 point. A 3 8 swivel, an extension, and a 3 8 ratchet. Let's see if he gets that one right. That looks right. Swivel, short 9 sixteenths. Six point, you got it. Good job. What in the world? I would have had to, I, I couldn't even got no, have that right. Got, no. Mm. All right, here you go. Set that down there. Is it moving at all? Mm, I, don't I don't think it moved, did it? Uh-uh. I'll lift it again. Pretty sure I got all the bolts out. Hey. That just sounds changing, isn't it? Yeah, it's coming up. Okay. Let's see what mysteries await us. Oh, yay. What was that? Well, I don't see anything wrong there. I mean, these lifters don't appear to be rusted up. Yeah, they're turning when you turn them. So the lifters aren't stuck in the block or anything weird like that. It looks really good. It does look really. Well, this cylinder is completely full of marble. Are the exhaust bolts gonna come out? That's a big one. Look at that. Ooh, Maybe that means somebody blew it up, whatever, 38 years ago. And that's why the insides don't rust it up. Maybe it's just they threw a rod in this thing in 84 and parked it. Or maybe the Lord blessed us today. 
Oh man, look, our exhaust. Is our exhaust <laughs> completely broke off of it? Well, like, that's easy. Look, it's not even connected. It's just rusted the exhaust off of it. Brad's here. You it in, aren't you? Yes. That's the last one. Oh. You always want to leave a few bolts in. That way you can be puzzled for a few minutes trying to figure out how to get the head off. Ooh, all at once. Well, that one's got quite a bit of rust. See, once we get these heads off, we can turn it over and see if it turns over now. Huh. Maybe we could clean the cylinders out. And... Something's on your thing. Oh, it broke a valve. That's what was in there. That was sitting in there. Well, that's why it wouldn't come all the top. It was sitting in there crooked. No way. I didn't even catch that. It does. The valves all look the same height. Do you think that's the problem? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna say that's the problem right there. It broke a valve in '84. <laughs> wow. Somebody must have been hard on it. We're gonna have to put that on the shelf. <laughs> that's a keeper. It has like no ridge at the top of the cylinders, which means it probably only has 55,000 miles on it. Look at that. Yeah, this one wasn't gonna run. Wow, look at the, how bad the other valve seats are. They're really rusted up too. What are those little dots? This? No, yeah, the little dots. It's just corrosion and rust. Hmm. Could you use parts out of the storage van, like uh, off of that engine? Ralphie, that's got Ralphie, Ralphie, in. Ralphie, are you Is already cleaning? cleaning? Look, Dude. we tell him, he just took off with it. You went all the way to the shop to find yes. a wire brush to start cleaning already. We don't even have the other head off yet. Cool. It bothers you that bad? Yes. Either way, if that was our problem, we should still clean that other one out while we're... The other cylinder over here? Oh, yeah, yeah. Are you straight popping or something? Yeah. About to get these heads off. <laughs> the exhaust is all rusted out completely. I can't wait to see what this looks like. Hopefully, we're about to find out. Oh, yeah, look. Look down there. All the rest of the Oh, we got something going here. Oh no, another one? Is that gone? Look, this one's stuck open. That one's stuck open. That one's broke. This one's stuck open here. Do we just need Yeah, there was no what way. What do we do to this thing? I don't know. They run or didn't they? You see that valve? Oh. The whole valve's in there too. It dropped two valves. Dropped two exhaust valves. Identical. What are the odds of that? That is crazy. Wow, that's a first. We've we've not tore one down that was broke like that. So we need new valve things. We need new heads. But the block looks good. Like as far as the ridge and stuff, now it may have a bunch of rust in it. Look, let's just see what the boards look like here. I'll show you all of them up close. <laughs> that one. That is unbelievable. We got all right, let's turn this thing over and see what it does. Ew. I hit something hard there for a second. I think it's just past the point where it had been before. Well, it spins all the way around. Oh, we should stand over with the starter again. Oh, yeah. Right there is hard. What am I hitting right there? Uh, that little piece right there. You know? Hold on. Mm -hmm. I can't turn it now. Come here and look at it. It's hitting a hard spot. So we're going to spin over the battery. And if we still have like a bad spot in this, there's something wrong on the bottom end of this motor. Ooh. Well, are all these moving? Yeah. Oh, we, we cleared her out now. Think the bottom end's okay? Yeah. Why don't you spin over and I'll, I'll watch. So I'm going to go ahead and wipe these cylinders out and see what we got to work with. Try to clean everything off as best we can. See if this thing is worth putting a new top end on it or if we have a lost cause here. Well, it don't look that bad, honestly. This was definitely the dirtiest one, wasn't it? Mm hmm Surprised that camera, we didn't notice the broke valve in there. Now that we know that, when we go back and look we at might, it, we might can... Might actually see notice that. That's what that is. It really don't have a ridge, though.
<laughs> How long is it gonna take us to clean this mess uh, up? <laughs> we got so many things tore down right now. So it damaged the piston right there and right there. Also, look right here on the cylinder wall. There's a hunk knocked out of the top of the block there. There's an indention here where the valve got smacked. Because who knows how many RPM this thing was going when it came apart. Yeah, definitely a little bit of damage in that bore right there. I'm really surprised how smooth these bores are. I really can't even feel a ridge at all. And I can't feel any scratching in the bores. If You know, usually if your fingernail hangs up on it, uh, it needs to be like bored out, but I don't feel anything. We have had zero luck lately with engines. This is the first one we've tore down. We actually have broke parts inside the engine that we didn't cause. So we're just gonna have to come up with some cylinder heads, either used or new, and put on this thing. And I think everything else should be good to go. I mean, we should just be able to put some different heads on it, bolt it all back together. And I think it'll run then. It looks like everything else is working. Unless it's like jump time or something, who knows. Man, look at all the rust inside the exhaust. Golly, it's packed full of rust. I'm gonna smack these with a hammer and see if they return or not. That one does. Look at that one. Uh -huh. <laughs> that one's not gonna run. Neither is that one. So we got that valve's open. That one's cracked open. We'll try to bop them too and see what they do. Whoa. You shot it at me. What was it? This one. The whole end came off of that one? Yes. Oh, no way. Another valve broke? Yes, you just shot it right over there. The cat took off after like it was a mouse. Look, there it is. We had a third broke valve. That's crazy. I think I might need to back up. Look, that one's stuck. Mm -hmm. That one's completely stuck. Wow, so we got, oh, no way. Look at that. It broke four valves. And look, those brakes are old. How do you break that many valves? I wonder if the rust from this side rusted the valves into from sitting there. And then when we turned it over, they just fell out. Oh, I don't know. So it's almost bedtime and I was on Marketplace and found a set of heads about two towns over. So me and Ralph are going in the middle of the night to go get these heads so we can get this I engine running. Right, Ralphie? Yes. It might be my favorite brake we've gotten just because it's four wheel drive all time. Huge power cats on it. Well, the power cats was a good selling point for sure. Yes. You know they got to be good heads if you're buying them at the Piggly Wiggly. They have to be good. I don't even need to check them. He was nice. Yeah. He had an epic beard. Yeah, I could never grow a beard like that. It was like down my ears. Heads are a little rusty. Yeah. A little bit rusty, but I think we can clean them up and get them going. Yeah. It's better than what we have. Yeah. It's literally past your bedtime. We never get out like this, do we? Like, never. Usually past 8 o'clock at the latest we'll work. Somebody says, meet me at the Piggly Wiggly at 8.30. You be there, don't you? We can't just bolt these right on. They're a little crusty, a little rusty. So we're gonna clean these up and bolt them on this truck. And maybe we can get it running. I'm gonna throw up. There's, There's some all weird. There my... is something <sighs> weird. There's one in this one too. Uh -huh. It's a dirt dog alive. Moving around in there. It's alive? Yes, it's alive. It's no way. That is disgusting. Well, we've successfully rehomed all the larvae. Now we're gonna recap the threads. <laughs> you already cleaned, I haven't even dipped it in the tank yet. These all seem to work. How are they alive in there? What are they eating? It's like they eat the dirt. I don't know. They're dirt dogs. We ought to just sit both of them down there and let them suck for a little bit. Why can't all heads be aluminum? We need a cylinder head sponsor. Well, that should have fixed everything wrong with these. We just need to make sure, <laughs> it's already started. We need to make sure that this surface is clean. We probably need to sand it even. So 
So we got both of them razor blade rebuilt here. And we already sanded the other one with this, but I got some 80 grit on a longboard sander from, you know, back in my auto body days. Uh, we're going to sand off anything we can get with a razor blade. I think we'll be ready to ball tomorrow. What do you think, Ralphie? Yeah, I think Maybe. right. Let's go clean the block up and we'll bolt these things on. Woo! Granny, you going to help us with this? At least she's weed eating, huh? Look, she, I think we scared her. She didn't know we were here. Sorry, honey. She can't hear her barely. I, I know, she can't hear it. She's about as bad as your mom about hearing. I think we got it. Yeah. We've been scraping on it here for a while. We need to vacuum out the bores a little bit more. And yeah, I think we're good to bolt it on now. Ralphie's good with a razor blade on clean off gasket material. We need like one of them spinny wheels that cleans it off, you know? Yeah. One day. We'll get there. Yeah. Ralphie's little vacuum he got in the fan mill has come in handy, hasn't it? Yeah. Perfect for stuff like this. We got some new gaskets here from O'Reilly's. I was going to copper spray them. Ralphie told me not to, so reusing the head bolts, you know, the sloppy way. I don't have nothing for you. Man, the diesel fuel just kind of sticks to this. It's so hard to dry it off of there. You just keep wiping it and it never really dries up, does it, Ralphie? No, not at all. This is the first time we have went this far with a will it start. We've never went into like, okay, it didn't start now. <laughs> Let's rebuild it, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Come on. Where's the dowels? Ooh, there you go. All right, you can go clean those okay. and I'll start bolting the heads down. We're running out of daylight here. They're like crazy good stuff. So we're putting some of this Permatex thread sealer on the bottom of these threads because these go into a water passage. We're just reusing the head bolts. Uh, before you say torque to yield, that's true. You should probably put new head bolts if you really care about it, but you ought to also look into how much boost Sloppy Mechanic ran on retorqued head bolts. Using a spark plug socket? Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to torque these down now. The internet says 65 foot pounds, so that's what we're going to put them at. I didn't notice that until just now. Look, that's the factory ink marks or whatever, chalk marks, where they were on the assembly line numbered this thing. Isn't that cool? I'm going to cut this exhaust. All right. Here, watch. Let Mama kick it. Hold on. Let yeah, loose it. Loose it. Gas it. Nope. There you go. There you go. Fold up. Good job, Wawa, on cleaning these. Thank you, Dad. Yeah. Little sweat shop here. I'm putting some assembly lube on all this stuff just so it's all lubricated. I put some on all the push rod tips and the tops of the valve stems. I'm gonna put some on all these little cups here that go on the rocker. So just like I've showed before, spin the push rod. When it stops spinning, you're at zero lash on a hydraulic cam like this. And then you give it another half a turn right there. You're good. Okay, that's the last one. Now guys, when you're doing this, you need to look at the top of all your rockers and make sure they all have about the same threads. Because this one right here looks like the lifter's collapsed. We got way too many threads showing, so I'm going to kind of back it off to where these other ones are. But sometimes you'll have a lifter collapse, and once it builds up with oil, your valve will be hung open. So you want to make sure they're all, look at your threads, make sure they're all pretty even. What did Jump you do? Down and hit the valve down. Ralphie just gave us a flat on her only casing, her only power cat that Not would hold anymore. air. Not anymore. You Come fixed look. it? Yeah, uh, he let go. He got to <laughs> stay out here all night. We'll put tubes in her. We're running out of daylight here. We're having to use that artificial light. We want to get this intake on though tonight because we need this to have time to dry. Bloop. Did I get it? Is it going to run it after is. all this? Yes, it surely. Uh, surely. I mean, surely. 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 I got our oil pump primer. Since we have the distributor already out, it's probably a good idea to do this. We're gonna build some oil pressure here. That way it doesn't start up completely dry, if it starts. See it? Oh, oh, it's getting me, look over here, look. Man, this has got more pressure than the Malibu does, huh? Yeah. There you go. Oh yeah, we're getting some serious oil. 
we're getting it now all the way in the leg. We're gonna stick this on here and probably call it a night because we just don't have enough light to do anything anymore. Can of Vianas in there calling my name too. You don't wanna over tighten these sheet metal valve covers or you'll have a leak. Well, that's gonna be it for tonight. We just ran completely out of daylight. You know, Jeffrey's gonna start any minute now. Yep. Right, Ralphie? Yep. The union that we work with for the lighting crew, they just won't, won't work late at all. Check us out on other platforms at SleeperDude88. Got your pet chicken? Yes. What's his name? <laughs> Doppelganger. Good looking chicken, huh? It's really, a mullet. It's really tame, isn't it? No, his name is Mullet Man. I thought it was Doppelganger. It's Mullet Man. Every two seconds it changes. Yeah, it's Mullet Man because it got a mullet flowing in the wind. Okay, so next day we're back and we're gonna try to fit some headers on it because we have some leftover headers from a project. I think we might be able to get them to bolt on this thing since we got a little bit more room in this truck. Hopefully these things will fit. They're actually made for a Camaro. Oh yeah, that's gonna bolt right up. These are actually some really nice Hooker Blackheart headers. They ought to give us a pretty decent performance gain. Long tubes really seem to help a lot and it came with gaskets and bolts, so. I'll put a link in the description, but we're just lucky that we have them sitting around here. Now I'm really gonna be mad if we get this thing all together and it don't run after putting <laughs> headers on it. Man, that's like putting lipstick on a pig, isn't it? Those are too nice, but it all sound pretty good, huh? Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and put a new cap and rotor in this thing while we got it apart. We even got some new plugs and wires. We're going the extra mile. Do you have a new best friend? He's been following me around. He's <laughs> right behind you. Oh wow, look, it's, it's not even tight. I just turn it with my fingers. Yeah, there was no using that exhaust. It was so rusted out. It wasn't even connected anymore. Ralphie, why don't you go look for the Malibu uh, carburetor that took off of it, that quadrigate. Okay. You bunch of misfits. Are you being a good pig? Huh? You being a good pig? Well, it's good to go, isn't it? Certified ripper. Yeah. So Wawa helped me get it up on top dead center number one here. We just gotta point this at the number one plug wire and one eight four three six five seven two, and we're on our way. Look at that. We end up splurging and buying some brand new auto lot plugs for this thing. Those other ones are probably about the worst we've taken out of the engine. You got it. I'm on my last one. He's like on number three. Hey, slow go. I'm on three, but I'm going, I'm tight the wall. There you go. Adios, adios, adios. How are you doing? Good, I'm doing good. I barely get the spark plug in. I'm good. We're going to put our dipstick back in here. We got all our plug wires and plugs in. We got enough oil to crank it, looks like. Are we ready? We're gonna put some fuel down in it. We still don't have a cooling system hooked up or anything like that. We don't have the alternator or nothing hooked up. We have completely ran out of light and we wanna see if this thing's gonna fire tonight. All right, Ralphie, give it a try. It ain't working. The starter's not working? No. Really? Uh -huh. Oh, let me hook the battery cable up, that helps. You do this uh, every time. Turn the key back off. All right, let's try it with the battery hooked up. Go ahead. Why does that not sound like it's firing? Does it not sound like it's firing to you guys? Sounds funny, yeah. Why don't you turn it over a few times? Let's see if it gets fire. You ready? Yeah. All right, all right, all right, all right. We're not getting any fire. It's a HEI. Usually they're, you know, good. All right, turn it back on. Okay. I think that's our problem. We're not getting 12 volts to the coil on the HEI because this is, this is the only wire that goes to these things is this right here, basically. So I'm just gonna run a whole new wire straight to the HEI. That way I know it's getting power for sure. Do we still not have spark? Try it, Ralphie. Let's see if we have fire. All right, all right, all right. There's no fire still. Well, that's... What the cast? That's puzzling. I mean, is it not getting a signal from the pickup? Usually these HEIs are really good about working. Hey, just working. Ralphie says, check the points, yeah. As a joke, he's joking. <laughs> he's probably the only 11-year-old joking about 
points. I wasn't sure if it had points or not when he said that. <laughs> With that jammed in there, I'm definitely getting 12 volts there. I'm definitely getting the ground. So if we have a good ground and good power, the only question would be, are we getting a good signal? Is our coil went bad? That's really all it's left to really answer. So I got the coil off testing it here. So between our yellow and our red wire, it's supposed to be between zero and one ohm. So we got zero, so that's good. Now we're gonna test between the little button under here and the black wire, and it's supposed to be between 3,000 and 30,000 ohms. We are at 8,000, so that's between three and 30. So it's testing out good, the coil is. Okay, this is gonna have to be a tomorrow thing. We're gonna have to work on this tomorrow. Bummer. I really expected we were gonna throw this together. It's a HEI, it'll have fire, it'll start right up, but those things aren't too complicated. We ought to be able to figure it out tomorrow. So I'm back out here the next day. I'm trying to see if we're getting a signal. This should be giving us an on-off ground signal as it rotates around. So I have my little cheap test slot here hooked up to the positive side of our battery. Kick it over, Tosh. Yeah, I'm not getting any ground signal from that. So maybe we have a bad control module. So another way to test this is you remove the green and white wires here and test the ohms of resistance between them. It's supposed to be between 800 and I think 1500 ohms and we're at 43,000. So I think our module is bad. So me and wifey went down to O'Reilly's and for like 30 bucks, we got a new one. Cost me more than that though to take her out to eat. But I'm gonna pull this old one out now. Maybe, just maybe, this is our last problem to deal with on this truck. Well, it still says GM on it, so it's probably the OG one. It looks like it grounds off the base like the Mopar ones do. So it comes with a little tube of, uh, I guess this is dielectric grease to help it connect. So I'm gonna put that on here. All right, we're gonna test it with a lot now. Go ahead. Oh yeah, oh yeah. We got a signal now. Woo! I'm gonna go ahead and hook some of the cooling system stuff back up and throw some water in this thing. Put the alternator and the belt back on it so if this thing does run, we'll at least have a cooling system let it run for a little longer. Well, at least we don't have any major leaks or anything, that's good. Now I'm gonna teach you how to put the power back in your power cats. We're gonna take the core out here pump a bunch of this slime juice in there and just hope it seals it up. Hopefully we can rejuvenate these power cats. Oh yeah, go in there, work your magic. These are good as new. People spend all that money on new casings. You have a set of power cats with slime in them. That's better than anything you can get at the casing store. I love airing up a flat like this, especially when it's a big one. Something fun about it. Rise up. Don't worry guys, I poked the valve them back in there and pumped it full of slime. That's got to work, right? Yeah. You really want to get some on the outside of your hoop too, because that way if you have any leaks on the outside, it just seals all that stuff up. Yep. Mm -hmm. Facts. Yeah. Science. No way. That valve stem was like ripped in half and I poked it back in there and it's sealing off. I'm scared to put the cap on it, honestly. I know. Are you counting? No, I thought you were counting. That's probably four, five, eight. The teacher called him Flavor Flav. Flavor Flav? <laughs> <laughs> he didn't know who that was. That's probably 12. That's good. I had to Google it. <laughs> they still got good tread. Are you ready to try it? Yeah. All right. Let's try it, Ralph. Here go. Nice. Oh. Forgot to put the distributor cap down. Okay. How do you blow the horn? It does help when you latch the distributor cap back down. Try it, Ralph. Is that battery that dead? Try it again. What the heck? I guess we're gonna need a different battery. I didn't know why this one's dead already. Hopefully that was a battery issue. I hope it's not anything else. It'd be good if we had a battery box still. Come on. She's close. Come on. It's close. Go ahead. Uh, we have a little bit too much timing in it. I need to be able to go back farther. I don't really have much adjustment. Hold on. Let me try to move this transmission tube. 
got dude man. Dude man. Oh, now we got up. all the luck. He'd be walking up in here. His name is Dude Man. Hashtag mullet. Dude Man! <laughs> Did you hear that? Did you eagle? hear it? The eagle heard Dude Man too. Alright. Try it again, Ralphie. Ah. If it's trying to start, keep going with it. Okay, hold on, hold on. Seems like it needs more fuel. Go. Get some more. Go for it, Ralph. Come on. <laughs> it is going to run. Sounds really good. He's already saying it sounds really good. Try again, Ralph. What? Come on. You just started. Maybe it needs more fuel. I think she likes that gas. It seems to. Maybe the bowl's not full anymore. Try it again. <laughs> What's up with that? I mean, it basically started for a second. There. I think it liked it when you rev rev down the side of it. Rev rev? Like that. I don't want to flood it. Why did it fire and now it's not doing nothing? Well, I think the battery's too like low. Too low? Of juice. Okay, let's get the jump box for it. Yeah. Our ground wire is super hot, so we definitely aren't getting a good connection here. I'm gonna try to work on our connection on the ground. Maybe that's part of it. And we'll put a jump box on it too, though. That is so hot. I'm like that guy on Dances with Wolves eating bacon right now. Let's see it. Exactly. All right, let's try it now with the jump box. Maybe it wants more fuel. It kind of jumped a little bit there at times when I moved the ignition timing. It was definitely getting spark. It's just something's not exactly right with the... I know what it is. She needs them 24 volts. 24 volts. We'll... 24 volts gets it every time. It keeps making me think it's going to fire. It's like... You yeah, hear it, just it sounded pretty good that time. Kind of pick up. It's like if it could spin over a little bit faster, it would go. Oh. I don't want to hear. Twenty four volts. Uh, is he gonna use that one, or are we doing twenty four volts? We're doing twenty four. Yeah. I got an inline resistor here to knock the voltage down, and we're gonna send twenty four volts to the starter, and send twelve volts to the coil. So hopefully, I don't burn up the brand new ignition module. Let's do it. Cue, 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 cue. Try it, Ralph. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord, it's Try smoking. Again. Oh. Oh, 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 it must need fuel. <laughs> All right, try it. <laughs> Keep going. It threw a Vianna lid at me. Oh, uh, it's from the fan. Yeah, it was sitting in the fan. It just needed to spin over faster, didn't it? 24 volts gets you every time. That's right. Hey, they tried to tell us, didn't they? Go. That's a horn, isn't it? <laughs> what? what is that? Was what you pushing that? the horn? The horn must be stuck on. I mean, I did touch it a few times. Ah, like seeing of course. If anything would work. So you got it stuck on? Well, it ain't coming back. Okay, yeah, I think our horn button's stuck. Why did it just now beep? I don't know. It must like 24 volts. It tingled my leg when I plugged it in. What? Try it again, Ralph.
it finally runs man oh my gosh it threw junk all over me man you gotta be wearing safety glasses when this happens wow okay well maybe we can start it now on 12 volts instead of 24 volts right yeah that's awesome what about that it huh? sounded good minus Wall the horn on. Squeeze, we got a high five. High five. We got an air oh, high five. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Uh, yeah. I hope it'll start at 12 volts now. Awesome. It won't start on 12? Uh, hold on, hold on. It ain't gonna start on 12 volts. We're back on 24 again. <laughs> And we stole the battery out of the Malibu. Go for it, Ralphie. I couldn't hear a word you said. What did you tell me? The, uh, the only gauge that works is a volt gauge. Is it doing anything? Yeah, it's at, pegged on 18. <laughs> That's, That's perfect because it's got 24. <sighs> oh, man. Well, that is the best news I've had all week right here is that this thing actually is going to run. I uh, knew it would. He knew it. He knows every time. So we're definitely going to have to change the oil. But it's really kind of good to start one on the old oil and get it hot and get it to circulate because that way it breaks some of that sludge loose. So we'll change the oil in it. We'll put a new oil filter on it. And what else do we got to do? Hook up a boat tank. Yeah. And then. Uh, I actually have a fuel pump off the Malibu we might could throw on it. A good one. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's not pumping any fuel, but that could mean the tank's empty or whatever. So yeah. awesome. We got to at least get this thing out in the field, right? Yeah. Is that your life goal? Yeah. Get out in the field, <laughs> sling some mud. Oh awesome. man, that is awesome. She sounds rowdy. Yeah, all right, let's get an oil filter and some oil. So I just came in the shop to get an oil filter and oil. And I was looking at the oil pump priming tool. I was like, oh, it broke and the end slid out of it. And I'm like, that's the oil pump drive shaft out of that truck. So somehow it just got jammed in here and now, whole time, it didn't have an oil pump drive shaft in it. That's not good. I'm glad we caught it though. We're about to run it for a while. I've never seen that happen before. I should have paid better attention. Yeah, see this right here, you see it's got a little lip on the edge. It's supposed to lock into a plastic collar down there on top of the oil pump. And I guess that plastic collar ain't no good anymore. That could have been really, really bad. It may have been a little bit bad. And it's raining now. Yeah, not ideal conditions out here. But it might be good weather for mud. Man, I guess we should have had a camera under here when we started it up because there's all kinds of rat's nests that blew out. I see it on the flex plate teeth. I guess it was up in there. They were living in the bell housing area. Well, let's see what this oil looks like here. Pretty black. At least it's not water though, huh? I don't see any big chunks either that come out. Man, I feel bad about running it without the drive shaft in it. Man, I didn't notice at all. I guess at least we pre lubed it. Man, I think this is a first. The oil filter is loose. They're never loose. They're always like so tight you can't get them out. Let's see what it looks like. Is it a frame? Is it an old frame? That thing is heavy. We'll have to clean it up and see what it is. Ooh. I think that's about the crustiest oil filter we've taken off of one. It's like hard too. You can't get it off there. Ralph will have to clean that up later. So 
So we got our new Wix filter here. Got some Marvel Mystery Oil. I like to put it in the oil filters because it drains through both sides of the element real quickly. I've had good luck with this Marvel breaking loose lifters, you know, when you actually have oil pressure going through the engine. Oh yeah, we're gonna tighten this thing down so tight, Lou Ferrigno won't be able to get it off. We got our good Rotella diesel oil here. Had a mechanic recommend to me to run this back, I mean, 20 years ago when I first started driving and uh, I've ran it ever since. I run the synthetic stuff in like my drag car stuff or our daily drivers, but I kind of cheap out on these Will it starts and do the conventional. It's good stuff. The diesel oil has a lot more additives that gasoline oil doesn't necessarily have. I did notice though that it dropped in awfully easy first shot and I should have known. Hello, are you in there? Yep, straight down to the oil pump. All right, don't drop it. Josh, don't drop it. I hope we're in there now. See, that's what it's supposed to look like down in there. <laughs> well, after about half a dozen attempts and messing with this and naming several U.S. presidents, uh, we finally got it dropped in, locked in on the drive shaft, and bottomed out in the intake. You want to make sure you get it all the way down or you're not pumping any oil or you'll hurt your distributor when you go to crank it down. So here's our fuel pump situation. You can see how rotten all the lines look. It must be a return style pump, but I've got the old pump we took off the Malibu. I think I'm gonna just throw it on there because I know it's a good pump and run our boat tank up in here and we will be good to go. And see all you people that get on to me for my shop being a mess, look. It's because I keep all this stuff. I keep all the spare stuff we take off. Look, even labeled it. It's more organized than you might think in here. Uh, good idea replacing the fuel pump. Look at that. It literally rotted off the bottom through the lines down there. So there was no use in this one at all. Good call on my part to go ahead and replace it, I guess. So now we got a 3 8 rubber fuel line going up here with my favorite kind of filter there. We got a rubber line going from our old Malibu pump over to this. Man, we've been doing this a while because we got, we're using parts that we got off of cars we did Will It Starts on, you know, years ago. So it's pretty neat to reuse something that we took off. So hopefully we'll have a good fuel system now. We'll have a cooling system. We'll have oil pressure. That's important. I need to hook up the vacuum advance to this and strap this in. And I think we're just going to wait for it to quit raining so we can video this and uh, try to move this thing. Okay, I've ran out of patience. I'm going to start it here in the rain. See if we get any fuel to this. See if we got oil pressure. not overdo it <laughs> before we drive it okay let me strap this battery in let's go we were putting water in the radiator and we found our coolant leak right there that's unfortunate you really want those kind of leaks to be higher in the core than that you know ralphie just showed back up from school how come you have to go to school every day i don't know it's crazy isn't it don't they know you know enough already you know how to fix radiator leaks don't you yeah steel stick exactly or jv weld either one this is the last of it. Isn't that sad? Yeah. I always wonder how it doesn't harden up because it's literally against each other all the time in the tube. True. Uh, this is guaranteed to fix any radiator leak. Lifetime warranty too, right? Yeah. Are we gonna get stuck, you think? Well, it did rain. Okay, dried it off with some air. It's still kind of damp. Maybe that'll slow the leak down enough to where it just won't pour all of it out immediately. Right, Ralph? Yeah. We're just waiting for that steel stick to dry, so we thought we might as well See what this oil filter was. Crazy how stuck on there it is. Granny, you don't want some diesel fuel. I see a number. Yeah, Fram. Fram? Yeah. PH30? I think they're PH30. Yeah, Fram, PH30. It looks newer. Yeah, it? when you get all that junk off it does, doesn't it? Yeah. Look, check the transmission fluid now that we've ran it. It's just barely on the end. So it should be quite a bit above full when it's not running, when the pump's not running. So we're gonna have to put 
at least a couple quarts in it. We're gonna put some of this Lucas stop slip stuff. I don't know if it works or not. I think we put it in the Falcon. The Falcon still slips, but I kind of like how thick it is. It seems like it would make it shift harder or something or have more pressure. Yeah. We'll probably put like three quarts in it because it's clearly real low. Hey, it's overflowing at the bottom, see? <laughs> Told you to go slow. We'll crank it up now and see if it's got enough fluid before we take off. Okay, that didn't help. No, gotta let it drain or it'll come out the top of the dipstick tube. It just lubricates when that happens. Exactly. We're trying to keep this thing from rusting out, right? Oh my gosh. Where it's like so full, it's at the very top of the dipstick tube, which makes no sense. It's like it's not draining down the transmission. All right, try it now. There are no brakes whatsoever. Threw it down driving, it kept going. So let me get up and park here and try it. It must have just sat there and drained everything out. It barely started pulling though, but it don't have no brakes. We're out to run her in four low. I know you, you'll have her stuck. You don't know how to drive four wheel drive. <laughs> You get it stuck every time. Every time I go. Because you don't gas it. All right, that's aggressive. Well, it's gonna need at least two more in it because it's not. It's just barely showing the dipstick at all. Still, it's still like staying up at the top of the dipstick tube. It's like it's not draining the end of the transmission for whatever reason. It's just staying full. I don't know if it's not maybe the breather. So I got under here looking at the transmission. So the vent tube is up here. It almost looks like it has a screw in the end of it or something. It's a little plastic guy here. Yeah, I'm just gonna pop that out. See the inside of that? Blocked, looks like a either mud or like a dirt dauber's nest has blocked it. I got a pick tool up in here. It's making sure there's no dirt back in that hole. Feels like I'm hitting something solid. It must go in there and make a 90 degree turn down or something. I think so. It looks like it is. Let's try it. We got fire extinguishers. What could go wrong now? Let's see if it works. <laughs> neutral. <laughs> Back in neutral. Let's try it. Ooh, it here hard, didn't it? No brakes. None whatsoever. We don't need that, though. Oh my gosh. Still a flat spot? It's just like a major flat spot, doesn't it?
For just a minute, I wonder if the thermostat stuck. We got temperature gauge, no temp gauge. I wouldn't get in front of me, it's not wanting to stay in park good. How's it already hot? So we have reverse, but it doesn't seem like we have drive, so that's unfortunate. I better recheck the oil now, huh? Yeah, man, it was ripping in reverse, though. Yeah. It was ripping. <laughs> it looked funny driving with like four square tires. You want to watch your mouth? Sorry, four square casing. Yeah, it had four square casing. Look, we're good on oil. Transmission, that's the question. Was it sending them rooster tails up? I was sending them, yeah. I'm sure it's ripping the yard up. Yeah, my four yards. I think, is this the one we were feeling? It was so square? Mate, they're probably all square. Yeah. It's like my grandma taught me. It's really not that loud for open headers sitting here. It's, it's over full. It's got a bad transmission. So I think you need to put it in drive and let it, it, stay let there. it sit there. We'll, we'll and try. if it sounds different, just go. It's rolling in drive. the fronts is it i have to review the footage i don't know Man, it is a certified ripper though hey she sounds good too we have like no forward gears i think we only have two wheel drive reverse is all we have oh uh, can we try like high and see if it yeah we can try it let's see i think that's it
Alfie? Yeah. We're stuck, and I don't think we have full drive. Let's go see what mom says. She was watching that time for sure. Uh, no full drive, right? No. Not a lick of full drive. Okay. It runs good though. Yeah. Starts up good, it, you know. It's kind of surprising. So far, we only we've only found out that it had broke valves. It had a bad pickup in the distributor, no full drive, and a bad transmission. I mean, and its body is beautiful. And the body's rusted out. But it is a certified ripper either way. <laughs> it's just gonna live down here in the creek from now on. I'm gonna go ahead and say that your car will not tow this out of here in this weather. Oh, it, this ground is awful wet. We're probably gonna have to wait for better weather to get this thing out of here, for sure. This is the most work we've ever put into one to get it run. Don't you agree? Yeah. It's been worth it though. It has been fun. Hey, we made it out of the first mud hole. You did. Yeah. This one, we've never been through here. I didn't really know how deep it was. It's uh, pretty deep over here. Pretty big jump to get in here. And it's so muddy backwards that it just won't pull itself out of here. Well, we had fun, didn't we? Yeah. Ralphie likes to go foil and so do I. I always get stuck every single time I've ever went in my life. Uh, no luck whatsoever going four wheeling, but did you have fun? Yes. You like it? Yeah. It's unfortunate to have no forward gears. And it's unfortunate that our four-wheel drive is actually two-wheel drive. Yeah. But we put in more work than ever on this video. We hope you guys like it. What we've learned here is you can't go wrong buying cylinder heads from the Piggly Wiggly. That's what we've really learned here. Facts. That's just as good as any kind of warranty. You know, if you buy them at the Piggly Wiggly, it's going to run. Uh, I, I'm really su actually surprised at how well the engine runs, considering. Yeah. This is the first video that we have ever done where we actually put cylinder heads on the engine to get it running oh it's the first video that we have not rebuilt the carburetor yeah so usually you spend a bunch of time watching us rebuild the car but think you can open that huh you got this don't spray me with it now got that uh, come on you've been training your whole life for this moment oh man we're gonna train you better there you go if you're wondering where wawa and squeezy are Wawa is at a birthday party. She just had to go to. She thought that was more important than driving this 4x4 square body Never. out in the mud hole. What's wrong with her, huh? I don't know. But remember, eat your bourbon barbecue vainas, drink your RC colas, and pour one out for your homies. You know, so right on their feet. Do you think, well, vegetation over there. Yeah. Do you think we will fix the four-wheel drive? We're going to have to fix the front hubs or whatever to make it four-wheel drive. I think it's what's up. And we got... A transmission problem so we're gonna have to tear in the transmission to get it going needs just a few rust repair panels here and there just here and there you know let us know in the comments what you'd like to see us do with this thing because it would kind of be cool to fix the full drive fix the transmission fix the brakes Put uh, I, 40s on her i'm really i'm still in disbelief that the power cats ended up getting stuck you know yeah. i really thought that you could not get stuck on but, a set of power yeah cats. we were rolling in neutral but we wouldn't back out Science. You can check our second channel at Super Dude Two. You can check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at Super Dude Eighty Eight. You can call my grandmother at Two 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 Two. <laughs> I wonder what you'd say. Oh, here you go, baby bird. Man, we had fun with this one. It kind of worked us to death, but it was really fun in the end. Very satisfying for it to actually drive. Uh, here you go, mom. Here you go. No, thank you. Here, here. Reverse at the end. Yeah, it did drive in reverse, but or, it's the fact oh. that it actually ran. But you can see our merchandise down below. We got some new Rocky Christmas shirts, huh? Check them out. If you click down below, it'll take you to the Springs website. We have a lot more stuff than what you just see below. You can become a member on the channel. A boosted member is what we call it. And five bucks a month, you get priority status on your comments. We try to do everybody's comments, but when you have millions a month, it's impossible unless you have a staff to answer comments. I think you'd rather see comments answered by us, not staff members. You also get sneak peeks of upcoming projects like this one. You members have seen this coming for a few weeks now. So that's kind of a cool perk. If you don't want to do it, that's fine with us too. We appreciate uh, you watching. Videos are always free, so. Hey, subscribe. Whoa. Say what? Say what? Say what? <laughs> but I guess we'll see you guys in the next video. Probably the next thing you're going to see is us going to... Cletus and Cars, Bradenton, Florida, November 19th. That may actually be today. We're going to be competing in the burnout competition down there. We're super excited about it. Ralphie, how are we going to place in that burnout competition? Lower than all the others. That's probably right, son. But at least we put in a good effort. Yes. 
As always, thank you very much for watching. We could not do it without you. I am getting to live my dream job because of people like you, and we really appreciate it. Mom appreciates it. I do. Thank you. See? Told you. I mean, Mama needs a new pair of shoes. New right? pair of Crocs. That'll work. Uh, well, we better go give Rocky some of these, or he's going to be mad at us. He better not drink all that. Vianna's going to be real mad if you drink all that. She likes her RC Cola. Loves it. All right, let's go feed them. You didn't help much at all in this video. Here, here, here. You better hurry before Granny gets over here. Oh, there you go. Granny Jr., you want some? No. There you go. We saved them for you. Yeah, I think if we would have had you in the truck, we wouldn't have got stuck, Rocky. <laughs> You think so? And more goat stomp so you can get all yeah, together. Yeah, that extra goat stomp. Lupe, you want some? There you go. You can have one. Here you go, Clayton. Here you go. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Golly. Mmm. Are you a good pig today? Yes. It's always a good pig, right? He's the best. Look at all the Rocky babies. Let's see them. Rocky 1, Rocky 2, Rocky 3, Rocky, Rocky four, 4 and five. 5. All kinds of... Is he in your shorts? Yeah. He's the wildest one, isn't he? Mm hmm He's buck wild. We'll see you in the next video. Bye! Who got the cheese? You're supposed to say bye. Bye! Man, too bad Wawa's not here. I could chase her around the yard. She don't ever want to say bye embarrassed. anymore. She gets embarrassed. <laughs> Tell him bye. I really think if we would have had forward gears, we would have hopped over that yeah. ditch we were in and went right on.